Awesome. I don't know how I did that, but that was cool. I don't know what I'm doing here. So it's not going to be that windy today. It's saying 11 to 14. Uh, the wind's only just started up. I'm not sure, but this might be the first time my diesel here has started working. So I'm trying to keep it in the light. Very bubbly there, if you can see it. Still cold air coming out. Maybe I best turn it down. Still freezing cold air. I've actually got it connected to my wind turbine. So the wind turbine's running at 24 volts. Uh, it's charging both batteries and I'm just using the power off one. But the air is still coming out of it cold, so it can't be working, can it? Can't be working properly. Anyway, I'll carry on. Oh yeah, it's just starting to work. I can feel the exhaust getting hot. Yeah! Sweet! That is total blag, that was. It just suddenly started working. That's yeah, still not warm, not hot. That's getting hot for sure. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh well it's definitely starting to get warm now so well that is getting very hot the exhaust. It's going through some metal and that's the uh, air intake for the combustion I just guess I didn't think it would take that long to get up and at them you know but I do not know what I'm doing with this thing oh there you go eee. working and I'm very happy so yeah power comes in from the wind turbine to the cheapo controller to the meter then it goes to two batteries and I'm running the actual diesel heater just off one of those two batteries so when the wind blows enough juice is going in there to keep us rocking so yeah I'm well chuffed with that I don't know why it's only saying 11 volts, unless that means something else. Ah, oh, there's some nice warm air coming out. Yeah. 
it is pumping with some vigour. Let me go get my temperature probe. Sweet, yeah, it ran okay. Started getting warm down the exhaust, uh, down the uh, air outlet side. So very happy with that. I don't know how to set it on the lowest speed possible because that's how I'm interested in using it. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. Little filter device. I actually drilled a six and a half mil hole for the nozzle so that it was really nice and tight. I know that that's an angle but it isn't coming off the wall. I should put a lid on it which is somewhere. And yeah that's all good. Let's just wait and see if we get some wind. Let's see what the batteries do when we get it started. Oh, it's still doing its off cycle. We'll come back in a minute. Right, it's just turned itself off. So let's see what the temperature of the exhaust is right now. That's only saying 21 degrees. 19 degrees surprising but okay we're on 25.66 let's start this up again Bear in mind it's only taking power off one of those batteries which is connect are connected in series. Come on the wind. Very fickle like this. Hasn't uh, started putting fuel in yet, so I'd... I'm sorry I'm a total noob, I don't exactly know how this works. All I know is we're running it off this, that's what I was more interested in. Come on wind! I don't know what this thing means here. There you go. Take it, that's going to kick in hard if it thinks it's going to 32 degrees. Maybe this is supposed to be some kind of thermostat thing.
Hey, that's more like it. That is definitely more like it. And this cheapo controller, if we hit 28 volts, the controller will put a brake on. But I'm not sure we're going to, but you can see when it puts in a hundred watts or a few hundred watts for a few seconds, it actually makes a difference. Oh cool, it must be telling me what temperature it is inside. Awesome. I don't know how I did that, but that was cool. Hundred and forty. Yeah, on the exhaust. So we'll try changing the mode with it. Or this. So yeah, that was a bit of a ramshackle video called running my diesel heater off my wind turbine. So I need to understand this, uh, but it definitely works. It did. It took a while to get warm the first time, like seemed what about five minutes but apart from that so you will see more of this in a future video and the wind turbine for sure peace well i found out how to do the switch off properly so it took about five minutes and that's that just saying there's 12 volts it reads it on the fly if we get a lot of juice in it might go up to uh it might actually say 13 on the uh remote thingy display but that's kind of irrelevant I guess but yeah very happy with that very happy see you in another video see you